What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back again with Emily DeMolly's Halloween Trio. This is releasing this week. This is such a fun trio. I'm telling you guys, I have a computer desk full of polishes that are ready for editing, and I'm telling you guys, this time of year is so, so crazy and amazing. There's so many pretties to see. So without further ado, let's get started. First up is Hazy Situation. This is described as a dark gray base with a silvery white magnetic effect. This one will be nine in the US shop and 11 in the Australian shop. This is what I would consider probably one of the most unique magnetics I have ever applied. So I have yet to see something like this. This was incredible to me. The base color is a smoky type of cool toned gray and the magnetic pigment is a gorgeous ethereal silvery pigment. It's very, very pretty. It stands out quite a bit against that base color. And once you get your magnetic effect going, it gives you a lovely crispy line. So I had no issues with it. It's one of those quicker type of pigments that easily responds to your magnet. And as you can see here for opacity, two coats and you'll be good to go. Now I want to note that this one has very strong self leveling effects. So while it's wet, it does look like there's a bit of brush strokes, but just let it level itself out. And after top coating, you can't see it. So very creamy, very smooth, somewhat lighter formula. So go in normal with your coats and I think you'll be just fine. And here we have in Madness We Shall Rain. This is described as a bright rusty orange base with green to purple Aurora shimmer and gold holographic micro glitters. This one will be 11 in the US and international site and 13 in the Australian site. So I am here for glitter. I will always be here for glitter. This one is lovely, lovely on that sparkly effect. It is a gold holographic type sparkle. Very, very nice. Now I want to really point out that this one has Aurora shimmer of green to purple. I feel like in my swatches that purple shift was being a little bit shy. In person, you'll mostly see that shimmer come off as this gorgeous kind of fallish looking green, but at extreme angles, you'll see it shift over to a lovely purpley kind of glowy feel. On this one, I'm going to suggest two coats for opacity. It has a super smooth buttery formula per usual. Um, definitely what I expect from this brand. Easy, easy formula and it builds up crazy fast on the nail. Now this one is just a slight, slight bit thirsty. So I would recommend a glossy top coat and you'll get that effect that you see on the full hand shot. Just very sparkly, really blingy and such a perfect Halloween orange shade. And finally, we have Dead or Alive. This is described as a bright ultramarine blue with pink to green shifting iridescent flakes. This one will be 10 in the US and international site and 12 in the Australian site. Now, I wanna note that the bottle shot for this one is coming off a little odd. My swatches came off a little odd in my opinion, so please, for color accuracy, refer to the actual application for that base color. This was a quite tricky shade to um, photograph. Now, this is definitely an ultramarine blue. What you're seeing here on the application is what I'm seeing in person. My, I feel like my swatches were leaning like really, really cobalt blue. So I apologize about that. Here, it's, it's bright, it's in your face, but it's not as cobalt as what my pictures were showing. Um, so I'm harping on that a little bit, but I just want to really, really make it known that this is what I'm seeing in person, what you see on the application. So I digress. Now we have a beautiful Corelli formula, strong self-leveling properties, full opacity reached at two coats and it'll give you that plump effect. I would recommend a glossy top coat that you're seeing on the full hand shot and you'll be smooth sailing. Beautiful flakes in this one. They glow very strong as a pinky shade and shift over to green at angles. Wonderful, wonderful formula. Now the trio will launch Thursday the 10th at 10 a.m. Australian time and Wednesday the 9th at 7 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. and international site. I will link all of this below for you guys and break it down as well as the Australian site and the U.S. and international site to grab them. Highly, highly recommend checking them out. And if you haven't seen these September releases below, I do have a video of those. So uh, just being a bit of an enabler, 
um, to have some friends come along traveling with your trio. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.